It was just a few months ago that something as simple as coloring with her mom was just too much for little Elizabeth Ling. She would last maybe two minutes and then she would just complain that her arm hurt and if we didn't stay on top of the pain, she would just, you know, end up crying for hours. Tests showed that there was a tumor in Elizabeth's right arm and as painful as the diagnosis of cancer was to her family, the options for treating it were just as devastating. Traditionally in, in Elizabeth age group, the only thing we would do is an amputation. But Dr. Joel Mayerson of Ohio State University Medical Center wasn't going to give up that easily. So after removing the bone in Elizabeth's arm during surgery at Columbus Children's Hospital, he implanted this. It's an artificial bone that can actually grow as she does. Here's how it works. Mayerson used a small piece of bone taken from a donor to hold the device in place, then sewed up Elizabeth's arm. Now, whenever she grows, doctors use magnets to heat up the plastic, causing a spring inside to grow at the same rate as Elizabeth's arm. Completely non-invasive. There's no cut on the skin, and the uh, patient feels a little bit of discomfort from the heat and a little bit of stretching because their arm or leg is longer, but otherwise they're, they're fairly comfortable. They walk out of the hospital with no hospital stay. That means not only does Elizabeth keep her arm, but she won't have to go through surgery again for years. In the meantime, she can get back to being a little girl and a big sister. Jay G. At Ohio State University Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting. Don't give sweetie a bite.